Well, people just want me feel with you know, saying about you know, I man, I man, me decision about Rasta. Well, I man, not me pan Rasta live TV because I man just want to smoke the anja or just want you know, live up laughs and things. Saying I man, in a Rasta because I man find some kind of thing pan the Rasta idea which can help I man. You know, I myself, and if you accept what I man is, because always when I man was a kid, I man thought, I thought that, oh, if you is a white man, then it means you is a blessed man, and then it means you don't have to fight again, you deep and like everything is peace. See, but I man grow up, and with my experience in life. With what I have read too, I have found out that you know to be a white man is a very disgraceful thing. Well, not disgraceful in themselves, but to me, with the interaction that I man have been able to hold with the other white people, you know the interaction between the blacks and the whites. I man have found out that you know that the, the white supremacy have no good. You know, good idea for the black man, and I man think that most black people them not realize this thing. Them not realize that the white man where them are deal with, them now have good motive towards them. So still them them are follow them, see them are follow what the white people them say and what them do, see. But what you realize that these people them are thinking. Is always against and opposed to the black people. Then you, the black man, have to stand by your own feet and then find out how you can do your things. You understand? Because you have to know that once you have had the white man to have had, it means the white man have a reason for himself and you, the black man, to have a reason for yourself. See, you don't have to sit down with your head and then still expect. Some blood clad white man to reason for you. That is stupidity to me. It means you are not using your own head. Then you, you be cut off, man. Cut off your head, man. See? So, white man come and say, We as a black people, with the history that we had before slavery, we were, you know, progressing at a very higher rate. But because of this long time of the slavery, I, and I lose that connection most of a we. Most of we lose that connection and we don't most of people don't even know say before slavery. The African people were, was living in a very higher technological world. Look at what is what happened in Egypt about six thousand years ago. Look at the pyramid that them built. Saying it's a very high technology them use in that time. That even today them can find out how come. You understand? So you can imagine the kind of technology that we as African people were using in those times. But because of the slavery, I man break that connection and I man just think that oh well if you want to make it you just have to follow. America and European people, but over the years we've tried that thing and it's not working out. So I want things here. It's about time I and I have to go back to I and I have root, know who we are, and I man think that the only way that I man, the only way that I man can get all these ideas in like true concept. It's upon the Rastafari movement. You can't, you can't get this kind of this kind of teaching and them things. You can't get on the churchyard. You can't even get it on the school room. That's all about my taxi. If you go to school, you'll be a damn fool. That's all my talk. And it's true, man. Because I and I have been going through the school system over the years. And them never tell I about even what happened before slavery about how powerful we used to be in those times you understand so still the thing 
deeper and I am mind that oh I am inferior to the blood clad white people. But you know Rastafari I come from you know come to liberate I from all those kind of mindset. And no I say no we black people they are wally pattern we can do. A wally pattern and no more stand we can do. And we have to start right now. Saying, yo, why me a Rasta? Because I man just want to be a true African. It's not about me just want to smoke. Can you can still smoke ganja without being a Rasta man? I will let people smoke ganja. They're not Rasta people. Ah, uh, they must smoke. So it's not because I man just want to smoke a split. That's why my man say me a Rasta. Saying me a Rasta because of what? I want to be as an African. Alright? So that's all man. That is all. A wally pattern is not correct. A wally pattern is not correct. It's not it's not it's not what we thought it was. The way it appeared to be is not as it was really. He keep on following America and the European. There is nothing you can get. We have been on ourselves using this European education over the years. But no difference, man. No difference. There I am. No difference, man. We still deal what we did. It's our time, I and I have changed. Change. So we are going to bless man like, you know, Marcus Kiabi, Kwame Nkuma, Leonard Orwell, those black. I can't because the math philosophy within the math philosophy will liberate higher. See, so give thanks, you know, give thanks. I will get back to you in a very short time. See, let's no misbehaving, nothing evil, nothing bad. Just keep straight, do what is right. They know that you is a black man, you is an African. Whatever you do, you is a black man. Do what you have to do, what you are supposed to do. That is the most important thing. It's not about following stereotyping, bonfire panda. Bless man, respect.